Hello, my cookies. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I got a foodie. Look at this. Now, this is delicious. It's one of my favorite desserts. It's kind of a pain to make, so I don't make it too often, but I always try and make it in the summer. A cherry cleft foodie is amazing. Like, it's just to die for, and you can only get cherries really in the summer. I like doing it with fresh. I don't know whether you can do it with frozen, but this is cherry clafuti. It's delicious. Big pancake with a bunch of fruit. Don't even need syrup or anything. Let's gather our ingredients. You need about a pound and a quarter, pound and a half of cherries. Pit them, and then I'm gonna cut them in half. So this is them pitted. It ends up being a little bit more than a pound. So we got whole milk, heavy cream, eggs. You need a tablespoon of butter, lemon, cinnamon, flour, vanilla, and sugar. Now that we've got our ingredients, let's get cooking. First thing you want to do, you want to preheat your oven. 425 degree oven. You want upper middle rack and the lowest rack possible. I have my pitted cherries. I'm going to have them. And if the pit is still in them, take the pit out. Now that I have my cut cherries here, I'm going to put them and I'm actually going to roast them for about 15 minutes on the top rack. Let's get them onto here, baking sheet. Get them into an even layer, cut side up preferably. I'm gonna roast these for about 15 minutes. Upper middle rack, 425 oven. Let's start on our clafuti, the big pancake part. We're gonna do four eggs. I am gonna put my 12 inch nonstick skillet in the oven on the bottom rack. You want it to get hot. Remember, the handle's gonna be wicked hot. So when you go to take it out, make sure you've got hot mitts on. So I got my four eggs. I'm gonna do two thirds a cup of sugar in here. I'm gonna put in at least, I love me some vanilla, this stuff. I'm gonna do at least a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. And I am gonna put in a little bit of salt. So if you're using table salt, I'd say maybe an eighth or a quarter. I'm using kosher salt, so I'm gonna do at least a quarter. I'm gonna whisk this around until it's nice and smooth. We got a half cup of flour to incorporate here now. Half cup AP flour. Don't worry about it, we're mixing. All right, we got our half cup flour in here. Now we need one cup heavy cream and two thirds a cup of whole milk. Going in here, I'm gonna whisk it all together. Now I just need, I just need to wait on these cherries. My skillet is still heating up. So I'm gonna pull these cherries out. I'm gonna put them in a bowl, toss them with a teeny bit of flour, teeny bit of cinnamon, a little lemon juice, and let them cool. While we're waiting, I need combined half teaspoon cinnamon, and two teaspoons of flour. And I'm just gonna use this to dust the cherries and that will help uh, absorb any excess liquid that they release during cooking. Let me check on these cherries. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Woo, this is hot. We got our cherries, they're starting to get dry around the edge. See the little puddle in the middle. They're starting to get dry on the top as well. Perfect. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna put them into a bowl. And I'm just gonna do a squeeze of lemon juice. And what that's gonna do, is kind of gonna brighten them up. It's gonna give them a little bit more of a pop and you'll be able to taste the cherries a little bit better. It's kind of like salt in that regard. Maybe about a teaspoon of lemon juice here. Now I gotta let them cool a little bit, toss them around. So get all the steam coming off. That's all excess water and liquid that's not gonna end up in our clafuti. So I have these roasted cherries. I have my two teaspoons of flour and my half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just gonna kinda sift it over top, toss it together and get them rid of a little bit of this liquid. When I do this, I, I like the tapping method. All right, now I'm gonna to toss around and then tap, tap, tap some more. All right, we can see that tightened them up a little bit. Now this is the tricky part. So I'm gonna get the skillet out of the oven. It's gonna be ripping hot, so make sure you have a hot mitt, especially on the handle. I'm gonna put it on my stove. I'm gonna whisk up. My heavy cream milk mixture, remember sugar, flour, make sure it's all nice and mixed up together. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of butter in the pan. It should melt pretty quickly, start to brown. 
soon as that happens, I'm gonna swirl and pour this in. I'm also gonna add cherries to it. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I'm just gonna bake for about 20 minutes, give or take. In about 20 minutes, I think it needs to go a little bit longer. I rotated it halfway through. Now I'm just waiting for the center to hit uh, 190. It's at 190 right now. I want it at 195. Turn your oven off. Remember the handle's gonna be wicked hot here. Look at this. Holy moly. This went a little bit longer than 20 minutes. That's why it's getting a little bit dark around the edge, but that's fine. Look how it's puffed up out of the pan. Got a little bit of the butter on top, that happens. But look at this, this. It's like a centerpiece. Woo! <laughs> I have to let it cool. Let it cool until it comes down to about room temperature, about 30 minutes. I know. This is baking. You wait and you wait and you wait. So it cooled for about 30 minutes. I sprinkled it with a little confectioner sugar. You can also use granulated. Cut it up like a pizza. Take a slice, put it on a plate, and voila. Here you go. See the cherries nicely in here. It's more like a crepe consistency. Look at this. This is phenomenal. It looks good. So let's give this a taste. See how it is. I got a nice little cherry at the end here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Now what I love about this is the cherry really it just comes through. It just tastes like cherry. And this pastry part of the clafuti doesn't really doesn't take away from this. You know, this is a dessert that, yeah, you put a little bit of sugar on, you serve it with a little whipped cream, you put a little lemon on, make those flavors pop. Uh, it is just so good. You get a little bit of texture, then it, it's a soft, velvety texture. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. It does remind me of like a crepe or a flan. Look at the bottom. We got good browning. Not like a skin or anything. It's just, oof. We got good lift and rise out of this. So good. It's not, I just love how it's not sweet. It just really, you get the cherries and you get a nice little pastry. You know, those eggs and the cream. It's just, it's delicious. Mm. Seems more elegant than it probably is. So good. Nice richness, good balance of the richness and the sugar. Get a little bit of lemon in there. Mmm. And remember, we hit it with like half a teaspoon of cinnamon just around the cherries. Not even cinnamon for it, it's just depth. Just the flavor of this doesn't leave your tongue immediately. It is there, and I love that. It is so good. I'm gonna eat this whole thing, I'm eating this whole thing. Mmm. Mm. I gotta go give some to my wife. She's upstairs. She's waiting for it. Let me take one last bite. Give her the rest. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Follow me on youtube.com slash Russell Cooks Live. I'm obviously here on Twitch. If you like what you see, drop a follow. And as always, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links are below. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Cheers.